Pettit was doing some heavy lifting when something went wrong. I was moving a generator out of my shed and I fell over the lawnmower. He hurt more than his pride. Turns out Don tore his rotator cuff. It was something he couldn't ignore. My arm couldn't go above my shoulder. I couldn't brush my teeth. I couldn't put a belt on my pants because it couldn't reach around behind me. Years ago, surgery to reconstruct the tear required an open procedure. Typically, a large incision would be made over the shoulder girdle. We'd have to violate the deltoid muscle, which is the large muscle on the outside portion of the shoulder, uh, open that up, and then expose the underlying rotator cuff underneath. But Don elected to undergo a less invasive arthroscopic rotator repair. Performed as an outpatient, he was home recovering in four hours. With the arthroscope, what we can do is just make a few little nicks in the skin, watch it under about 50 times magnification, which allows us to do a much more meticulous job to reconstruct the rotator cuff and importantly, not damaging the deltoid muscle at all. Having had the surgery performed arthroscopically, Don is further ahead in his recovery. With no large incision, more of his muscle and tissue is left intact, meaning a quicker recovery. It's only been eight weeks. Right there. And Don is getting his groove back. I can finally put my belt on. I can uh, raise my arm above my head. Uh, I can scratch my back. So I feel good, really good. The fast fix arthroscopic repair is quickly gaining traction. It now accounts for 50% of rotator cuff reconstructions. For Lee Memorial Health System, I'm Amy Osher.